I come to save the day. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. Hey, we're back. Today, we're going to talk about Lutron and Cassetta and how to program your house. You got a three-way, you don't want to pull all the wires, but you need to switch somewhere. We're going to show you how to do that. And uh, before we start, let's uh, click on the bell down there, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And if you want to leave a note, you got a question, go ahead and do that also. So let's kind of go over some of the devices that you've got. Rich, you've got some stuff there too. Um, we have basic switch, no, I mean, but what else mm-hmm. do you have? No, I mean, so we, you, you've got your basic, you know, Lutron switch, which is going to be programmable. But one of the things I like with Lutron is, you know, for an older home, right. they have these that are like lamp controllers. Okay. So you just plug this into your standard outlet. It's got two outlets on the side of it. So you can plug in two lamps, and, you know, in your living room and or your bedroom, whatever. But now you can control this with your phone through the app. But this particular kit also comes with the Pico switch, which you're going to get into more detail later. <laughs> but this Pico is kind of the really cool thing. Right. Because you can actually mount it in the wall, put it on your desk, put it in a stand. But no matter what, you can put it in your pocket. Right. And just turn the lights on and off. It's right. cool as heck. Yeah, now, if you happen to have a fairly large house, then they also make a repeater. So the repeater looks a lot like the controller, but you put this, plug this in like middle of your house or the other end of your house, and then it allows it to communicate more uh, efficiently. More better? So, more better. Yes, it makes it more better. (laughs) So, all of these are very simple for the most part to install. The outlet, the repeater, um, there's pretty much two instructions for adding them to your system. Find it, name it. Pretty much done. Yes. Um, the wiring can be a little confusing, and I think that's what you're going to... We're going to come... And I only say, not so much for a regular light, but on a three-way, four-way. I, when I did mine, I'm not going to lie, it was just a little bit confusing because I wasn't sure what to do with the travelers. So you, as an electrician, should must explain uh-huh. what we're doing with the extra wires. All right. So. So I should be Lucy? Yes. You got you got some explaining to do? All right. Mm-hmm. And I gotta pull one of these out. I'll get one of these ready to go too. So we've got our our nor- this is like a basic kit that you get and let's see, let's start over here. You get a switch, there's your Pico, there's a smart bridge in the middle, right in here, and then that's the phone app. A burner phone. Yes. <laughs> Does not come with a phone. <laughs> no, just kidding. Did not come with a phone. Right. <laughs> But you, the app is free also, so you download the app, and then you can start running the stuff. So um, we'll, we'll get into what this is in the kit for. But I, I've got a, the Pico. I don't know, can you uh, – let's do a quick overhead shot here okay. if we can. Whoa, reaching right behind Rich there. So you, this is a standard cover plate, and it has uh, you know regular switch. But then they have these like this. They come in singles, doubles, triples, and these – you have, they're, they're a, what do you call these, Rich? You're calling them a screwless plate? Yeah, we just call them screwless cover plates. Now, like me personally, my Lutron switches came with those. Right. I did not use those. I used the ones with the screws. Okay. The only reason why is like most people with an existing home, once you start doing screwless plates, you must go replace all the cover <laughs> plates in your house. Yep. And that can cost you more than a lighting control system because screwless cover plates are not exactly inexpensive. Right. It, it's a very so, cool system, all made by Lutron also. Right. If you're building a new house and you specify that you want all screwless cover plates, boom, done. Right. Right. So, and these came with the, uh, the kit. You got, you got the singles. So right. It's a pretty cool setup. All right. So let's go so ahead and So I saved with- them. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. We'll explain how to set up this system and uh, show you how easy it really is. It sounds like it might be complicated, but it's not. So, all right, let's get our first picture up here, and I'll give you a scenario of where we just recently installed one of these. So here we just put a door into, the, into a, a new entry door. There used to be a window there, but we need to get some switches. There's no switches for the room when you come in the room, or there's no way to turn on the lights when you go out. So, well, you wouldn't normally buy a window. No. But now that we have a door there, we need to get some switches in here. One switch for the room, so when you walk in, you can turn on the lights, and another mm-hmm. switch to turn on the lights that are outside, so that way you've got some outside lights. 
So let's give our next one. So first up, we went and found this. This is the switch right here that turns on the coach mm -hmm. lights that are already on that side of the house. So, gotcha. So we found this switch, and this happens to be in the mudroom. And the okay, next what's one, the other switch? Just that turn. This one here turns on the room for the mudroom. That's a three-way okay. switch to the mudroom. So there, we took the cover plates okay. off. There's our three-way for the mudroom. There's our single pole for the lights that are out on the coach lights that are outside. Next up, pull both switches out, the three-way, and our single pole. Next up is we just we we uh, we take off the two wires. We pull this switch out, and we're going to remove both those wires. Time out. Yes, Rich. If you're an electrician. Yep. Please turn the breaker off before doing this. <laughs> now that takes all the fun out of it. <laughs> I know, but see, they work with grounded systems because they have pipe and stuff, and I have ground wires on mine. If you touch sides of things with the ground wire on there, you feel it more. Oh, yeah, more tingle tingle. Anyway, no, turn the breaker off. Yes. Okay. Yes, turn your breaker off. And I'll, I'll, I'm so used to, I don't, I couldn't tell you the last time we turned I know. Off. It's problem with you being an electrician. Right. So the, the, the old wires were curled, so we straightened them out. So we got nice straight ends there. And, and if they're long enough, don't you recommend just cutting that off and getting fresh? Because if, if they've been bent and turned, you know, they get brittle. So it's like just, you know, but if you're, you only got this much, yeah, you, straighten them. You got this much, cut an inch off. You, right. Nobody's going to notice. Right. So, and uh, you can you go back a picture? Well, I certainly. Let's see if we, oh, look at that. Okay. So you'll see, here's another thing that we're doing here. Because we're in the Chicagoland area, we've got metal boxes, metal conduit. Metal, everything runs, is grounded through the, through the uh, conduit system back to the main panel. Uh, other parts of the country where you're running Romex, uh, what we call in extension cords here, that <laughs> you don't do. So you would actually end up with a ground wire that you'd have to disconnect also. And you notice I've got... So we just call it a wire party. Yeah. So here I've got orange, which is my switch leg, and the black, which is my hot. So... That's just that's color coding that we can do because we've got pipe. So we pull our Lutron switch out, our, our Caseta switch, and this is a dimmer on off. And there's a little, there's a safety switch there. So I pull that, that out. So before I start to wire it, in case I didn't turn the breaker off or there's something else going on, now I won't smoke all the electronics that are in there. So I pull that little safety switch out before I, I start wiring the switch. And then... So there you can see I just wired it up. There's two blacks, and one goes to the black. The other one goes to the switch leg. How do you know which one goes to which? They're both the same color. It doesn't matter. Now. That's a key thing. Yes. Because if you've ever wired a switch again, see, you're being an electrician. You've just taken it for granted. <laughs> I'm sitting there with a switch going, where's my hot? Where's my switch leg? I got two blacks. Which one do I tie to the hot? Which right. one? And it doesn't matter. Right. In the one-page instruction, Quick Start, it doesn't tell you it doesn't matter. It just right. says tie these. Right. Like, which one? Yeah, it's easy. Uh, just hook it up. It's easy. <laughs> so there, I've got those wired up now. Um, and I installed them. I went ahead and changed this three-way switch out. I put a regular Decora in there so it matches up. And then uh, you throw the cover on. And then now you're set up. So now this is the mud room. It's all done. I've got my three-way switch and my uh, Lutron Caseta switch. Can we go back a switch? Sure. A picture I meant. Yeah. Thank you. So around that Lutron switch, you see the little tabs? These tabs here, yes. Yeah. Those are going to dissipate heat. Uh-huh. And if you're putting Lutron switches next to each other, you must break those tabs off. Correct. Just letting you know. Correct. Okay. Continue. Continue. All right. So there, that wraps up our mudroom area. Now we're going to go into the uh, the room. This is the this is the light switch for that room where we put the door in. So we'll go ahead and take this apart. There you go. Pull it out. Take that single pole switch off. Oh, we've got that switch removed. We go ahead and straighten our wires. You'll notice here, my switch leg is is yellow in this room, but I still have a black. So my hot still black, but I have a switch leg that's yellow. So it's really easy to, to find this out, again, because we've got the, the conduit metal boxes. So we're going to wire up this new switch, the Caseta switch, maybe, kind of, Okay. please to hold. 
There it goes. So there, okay, so now I've got the new switch on, and you'll notice this one, we were talking earlier, it already has, comes with that back plate on it for the key, for the uh, screwless cover plates. So it, it came mounted with it, so here I'm going to use it because it's single. And you wire up black to yellow, black to black, and you throw the switch in. And there's the screwless cover plate. And without the trim plate. Without, and Boom. There it is. Now we snap that on, and it's ready to go. And you can see I've already got a light on right here. So it, it's have power. It, it's looking. It's looking for stuff. So now, now we can take those Pico switches, which we've got here, and these come with the kit, with the table mount. But they also, if you go to the next picture here, you can see they come off that table mount. And you can, so you have a choice. You can use the table mount or you can have these. And there you go. So there's what it looks like with the table mount. And there's the table mount with, and the switch there. So I went and got these instead. So these yeah, are Yeah, those are the coolest. So now I can take these and the Pico switches slide onto these. So mm -hmm. the next picture is, there I am. So now we're going to go ahead and install that on the wall. Notice no box, no wire, no nothing. No. And you just slide that Pico switch onto that plate. Like that. Okay. I went ahead and mounted the second switch. So now I've got both my switches there. One is for the outside lights, one's for the room light. And that uh, that's now mounted right next to the door. I went ahead and I got a double key uh, screwless plate for this side. Because I already had a, I was using the screwless one on the other part of the room. So you got to right. keep them the same, right? So now, go ahead, level it out, make sure we're all level, and uh, snap that cover plate on. So it's now a nice Klein Tool level you got there. It is. Very nice. So, thanks, Klein Tools. Now you can see we've got two switches here next to the door. I didn't have to do any wiring. I didn't have to pull any wires. I didn't have to do any drywall repair. Nothing. It's oh. all done. So you take your Pico switch. And you hold the Pico switch and you and, and get it into program mode and you do the same thing at, at your switches and now your Picos will be synced up and you can take those Picos anywhere in the room. Now, you, here you're hooking up the smart bridge and you go ahead and put it into your router and then you take your cell phone, you download the Lutron app and now you've got this. So you can see I had, I had hooked up those two and, and loaded them on. And that, you can set uh, schedules so that the outside lights now will automatically turn on and go off. And I've got them set for uh, to go on at uh, sunset. And then I set them again to go off at, at uh, midnight. So you can also set scenes. So you could have yeah, different... And I use the scenes. So we have one set up in our great room, which is just watch TV. Okay. So when you turn that on, it just brings all the lighting at 10%. Because you don't want to sit there watching TV with these super bright lights, but you don't want to be sitting necessarily in the dark. So watch TV is 10. Yeah. I have coming home, which turns on the garage lights, the hall lights, the bedroom lights, and the kitchen lights. Oh, nice. So you have your path. Right. Um, the other things that you, that you have to dig a little deeper, um, but when you hit on on a Lutron switch, it brings your light on typically at 100%. Correct. Um, but you can actually hold two buttons and you can reprogram it so that on is only 50%. So there's a lot of things you can do that, that, that are extremely simple. Right. Um, the scheduling, the one thing I ran into, which was more just like, duh. <laughs> so instead of turning the lights on at dark and turning them off at sunrise, whatever, because it does work by internet. You don't set a time. Correct. It goes through the internet, sunrise, sunset changes every day. So I set my outside lights to come on 20 minutes after sunset every night. But the ones on my front entry, I wanted those to go off at 11, but I wanted the garage lights to stay on until sunrise. Okay. I was having a problem figuring that out. And somebody goes, <laughs> make another schedule yep. <laughs> and just tell it to turn off the entry lights at 11. And I'm like, <laughs> yes. Sometimes just, you know, the, the simplest thing, and that's all it is. So it is not hard. You can make up all these. And then the only other suggestion I would make to you is that, yeah, 
connect your your uh, your bridge, get the app on your phone, but do each device as you add it. Don't in, don't install five or six devices and then try to program. Do one at a time. Yep. so that you know exactly what it is, label it correctly, then you can go to your scenes and schedules and bring it all together. And you can do that from the comfort of your couch. Yes. It's crazy easy. Yes, it, it works really easy. It's a great system. The batteries in the Pico will last up to 10 years. So you don't have to worry about changing batteries in the Pico switch or anything like that. Now, one other thing, they do come with this little uh, bridge device for... Uh, for a neutral, if you have some LEDs that don't like the dimmer or they don't like uh, the, the switch that you've installed, you can put one of these in and not like that. We don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so what this does, the, in order for these to work, if you don't have a neutral, you can also get all these switches with a neutral. And then you don't have any problems. You can put any kind of light bulbs in you want. It'll work. But if you happen to get a, a kit that does not have the neutral on the switch, then you, then you get these devices and you put this. One wire goes on your switch leg. The other wire goes to the neutral. And what this allows is it for it to trickle just a little bit of juice through there. And that's how it keeps time and it knows to be connected. Because that's what the Lutron switch is doing. It's just trickling a little bit of juice through there to be able to run and stay active. Hmm. If you turned it off completely, well, then it wouldn't see anything and, and nothing would work. So yeah, if, you've got some, if you've got some weird light bulbs that don't work and you don't want to change those light bulbs, then you can put one of these in and this will solve the problem or be proactive and just order the ones or pick up the switches with the neutral already on them and then you won't have any problems with any kind of light bulbs. Yeah. So it's great stuff. Sometimes, it's kind of actually a lot of fun once you start doing it. And it's and the nice thing is you don't have to do the whole house. Like me, I keep adding them. Right. <laughs> you know, as circumstances arise, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, eh. it'd be cool to do this. Well, you can do it. Yeah. So right. the other thing is when you're setting this up, like you had showed, you have that outlet. You just plug, you have that device. You just plug in the outlet. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. can plug in your lamps. So now that device will also just work fine. It works off your app. You can set the schedules and, yeah. and the scenes. Well, it's something cool, too. So this is just for lamps only. It does not have a ground, so you wouldn't want to run equipment on it. But the cool thing, too, is in this particular kit, it comes with a Pico. Okay, so the Pico is wonderful, but don't be confused. This Pico will work anywhere. I can plug this in. And then I can get this Pico recognized and I can make this do something completely different. Right. And this could be set up as a panic button. In other words, remember I was talking about we come home, we turn on all on. Right. Well, this could sit on your nightstand. You hear a noise you don't like, you hit the button, every light in the house comes on. Yep. So, you know, if you got think you might have an intruder, you just, boom, done. So, yep. yeah, there's lots of fun things you can do with these. Right. Now, if you get your neighbor's password, you can even have more fun, but just saying. <laughs> So uh, it's uh, Lutron's Caseta system. Uh, Rich has installed them. I've been installing them for years. It's a great system. It's a great way to add a switch somewhere when you need one and you don't want to have to pull mm -hmm. all the wires. You just change the device on one, you know, at one end and you got Picos. And you can keep adding Picos on that switch. You can have 15. Yes. So, uh, Rich, that, that <laughs> lamp plug-in, can you plug extension cords in there for, say, like your Christmas lights? Yeah. It, you can. It, it, they have a wattage uh, limit on them, but it's enough for like your Christmas tree, particularly with LEDs, but that's just it. You, when you say extension cord, it makes you shiver because you don't want to plug <laughs> as an extension cord in there and throw your skill saw on there drawing 15 amps. Right, a lamp cord. A lamp. Yeah, it's designed for lamp cord. It even labeled it says lamps only. Right. But I would think, you know, like your Christmas tree, absolutely. And then you can set up your timer or your scene. So the timer would be Christmas tree comes on at dark and goes off at, say, 10 or 11, whatever you want. But then that's timer. But you go to scene, and you can have it turn on the indoor lights. I had outlets put in my soffits. Right. So I have Caseta outlets in my soffits so that I can turn on my outdoor lights, my Christmas tree, all my stuff. Automatically it goes on, automatically it goes off, no matter where I am in the world. Yep. That's yep. cool as hell. And you can control it from anywhere in the world. As long as yes, you with my room. app, and I like doing that. I just sit across the street and sometimes play with the lights. <laughs> All right, there you go. Freaks people out. Lutron Caseta. want to say thank you to uh, Lutron for uh, sending us yeah. a kit and let us play with it a little bit. 
And if you got any in, in information or you have any questions, post those questions below. We'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Absolutely. Uh, real easy system to install. And uh, like Rich said, turn your breaker off if you're really not sure how to, <laughs> how to work with electricity. I apologize for not saying that. So until next time. <laughs> Keep it square and level. Keep it square and level. All right. There you go. Cool. So now he starts playing music and stuff, right? Isn't that? There you go. There he goes, right there. So. There's the music. Yeah. Wait, so I don't hear the music. The music and, and I've got. Oh, it's supposed to be playing oh, automatically. I think. Oh. He plays it. So. I've, <laughs> I've, got the, I've got my shop set up on here, too. So I, I can do the shop and my house off the same app.